Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Star Wars Jedi Survivor on the GTX 750Ti, the legendary card from 2014, so lowest settings, 720p performance mode on FSR2, and let's get into the game. First I'm going to try starting from scratch, and let's see what happens. We're going to skip the cutscene of course. And the game crashed. <laughs> okay, low level fatal error. Shader compilation failures are fatal. Okay, probably because we are on 2 gigs of VRAM. Maybe the 4 gb 750Di works, or maybe not. I do not know. I was kind of surprised that the game actually launched. Let's try launching it again. Um, load my save file in a... In a separate level. Maybe the first level is the issue for this card. Who knows? But still, the fact that it crashes as soon as I start a new game, that should tell you something. So hang on a moment. I'm going to back into the main menu. All right, we're back into the main menu. Let's try loading my previous save with 13% of progress in Gorg in Kobo, which is the first map after the start of the game. Let's see if it crashes. The first level right away when I click new game, it crashed right away. Let's see if this one has any problems. <laughs> but still, the fact that you cannot do... Okay, I think it crashed. Yeah. So guys, it's not playable on the 750Ti. I mean, it was to be expected. I was expecting the game to not launch, actually. So yeah, if you have the 4 gb version and you tried it on that card, please let me know. I'm interested to know if it actually works on that one, if it's just due to VRAM or something else. So thank you so much for watching this video. I've seen the comments for the 750Ti and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. And thanks EA for providing a code of the game, but don't buy the game.